Uh, folks, we're back into unofficial Yorkshire Air Museum. I've been uh, rearranging tuck displays. So after a hard day tuck arranging tuck displays, we've got the tuck museum looking a bit better. So we have some trainer things. So this is the older side of the Fleet Air Arm collection. Sea Hornet. Wyvern. Avenger of the Radar, absolutely love that. Then moving down, we go into the 1960s, late 1950s, early 1960s. Now I've had to leave some spaces where some unbuilt aircraft are going to go. So my dad's got a Scimitar CMK kit to build. And then we get to the mid 60s. Buccaneer S1. Buccaneer S2, these are on Butler's printed model stands. Then we've got a gap here for um, the Falklands War stuff. And we move into the 1990s, Sea King Commando. Sea King has six. Then we've got the one with the radar bag. Then we've got a Lynx. And then at the very end, there will be an F-35 bringing it up to date which my dad has got to build, the F-35B. Got the Merlin there. I've also been reorganising some of his space junk. So we've got the X-15, the Apollo. I've already covered those. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, then we've got the Bristol Sycamore rescue helicopter. I think this is a Venom. Meteor Night Fighter, the Javelin, which you had in the loft, the Canberra, the Belvedere, Harrier GR1, Phantom, Thunderbird Missile, Harrier GR3, Harrier GR7 in the green scheme, GR4 Tornado, and then of course the Euroflops. E3 Century D. As you can see, my dad has got a ton of kits to build. And last but not least, we've got Puma HC1, Gazelle, Merlin in the RAF scheme, Scout and Chinook. And then this big beastie here, 1 and 32nd Trumpeter Euroflop.